อิบอะไปไหนอ uh, very old country. Uh, It used to have a different name. What Tom. was its name? Persia. What have you heard that's happening like, in the news? Oh, the news recently that yeah, gets interesting. So, uh, the United States has been sort of escalating tensions with Iran. Iran and the president got in a fight, and now Iran's kind of mad. And we're a little worried about a World War III, but like not really that worried. e l i a have you heard anything about this? Nope. So it's kind of hard to like summarize and keep up, but today we're focusing on food. Are you guys ready to start? Yes. yes. All right. Close your eyes. Vanessa, <laughs> do you know what the capital of Iran is? No. Tehran. Do you know what the second biggest city of Iran is? No. Just shut your eyes, Todd. A drink? Oh gosh. Whoa. Okay, there's a bunch of seeds in here. It looks like lemonade. l o f t it. Oh my gosh, this is really sweet. This is called s h a r b a t and it has like a lot of calcium and protein and fiber. Mm, I gotta tell my fitness teacher about this. It's supposed to be really good for constipation. Good to know. Good to know. Oh my God, Toby, you really like that. I oh, did. Want to try mine? No, I'm not your. I'm not your garbage disposal. I know. I want to say <laughs> for one hour to help. I'm not your garbage disposal, Vanessa. And sometimes I am your garbage. You guys ready for the next one? Yep. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Megan. Oh, yeah. Looks like a good rice and beef dish. Maybe lamb, actually. Instead of analyzing, I'm just gonna eat it. This is called koresh and ribas, and mm. it is a Persian rhubarb stew. Mm. Eat that. <laughs> What does it taste? It's not that bad. Have you ever had rhubarb before? In a pie, yeah. I'm not a fan of the rhubarb. Same. Honestly, like the first taste is bad, and, this, and then like the aftertaste kind of tastes like the pickles on hamburgers. Have you heard of Colombia? Uh -huh. um, we make arepas, and this kind of tastes like the grainy corn coming from the arepas. So I'm like, I tried it just by itself. Reminds me of home. Tell her you're not ready. Yeah. Yeah, tell her you're not. Hard for us fast eaters, you know. Finally, someone who understands. <laughs> oh, okay. This is pita bread. Is this <gasps> oh, it's oh a, this it's looks so a, good. It's the egg pancakes or the salad. The, I, I've seen these before. Cauliflower, onion, tomato. I'm going to say asparagus. It's probably a yogurt sauce. This isn't identified food, Sandra. This is called kids' track. I know the dip is really good. I know you don't like sour cream. What's it taste like? Sour cream. Oh, I'm good then. These taste like French fries, but not kind of like, like not crispy hash browns. Yeah, it's like pickled asparagus because it's got like that pickle taste to it. Do you like pickles? I love pickles. The potato is really good. If you don't want your third one, I won't eat it. Mm -mm. I'll eat it. <gasps> the sugar on it. Okay, I can definitely tell this is dessert. So this is an Iranian candy called Toots. <laughs> toot toot. <laughs> You're so immature, Ellie. No. It's a, like edible cookie dough. Yeah, this tastes really, really close to an Indian cookie I've had before. My grandparents make. Tastes a lot like rice pudding I had at a Greek restaurant in New Jersey. <laughs> um, this is very specific. Okay. Yeah, very specific. <laughs> It was really good. I respect yeah. them. I think we learned one part of Iran, but you have to actually go there to see their city, their culture, their religion, and not just the food. Well, unfortunately, we can't travel to Iran right now, but we're still able to have the food, and I think that's pretty cool. Mhm, mm and it's really good. Made my tummy full. Ooh. Thanks, for, Thanks watching. for watching. Bye.